impulse. That not have no planet behind, planning behind it, sister. You, you are going to get a million dollars from people. And you are going to go into the bank with that million dollars. You <laughs> see? And you are going to ask them for another million dollars. So let me ask you a question now. At this point, when we are in a recession, and the interest rate is so high, how much interest you think you are going to have to pay on one million dollar dollars. And that me, me, you see, yes, when somebody just get up on their head at, and them thing always happen, you know. You just show so you not think. You just show so you not thinking, sister. You are not get a million dollar from people. And you are gonna borrow one million dollars from the bank. Where are you as collateral? The house on the beach where you come where you, where you say buy the other day? Yeah, you use your house on the beach for collaterals. Alright. How much your house on the beach value? I may have thought this because you and I like mix up, mix up something. And you, so you buy it, you just buy a house on the beach. You have a house on the beach. And you say you have an ex in on property where the, where the, where the, where the court that you sell. To pay the woman with, say you make, you make her dog bite you. So let's say we know about them two property there. Without digging into your business. But are you come forward and ask the people for the go for me money? So we are talking we're out there. Right? You want to borrow one million dollars from the bank? Alright. Then I go obviously hold on to whatever property you, you have. And obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a US bank you maybe want to borrow the money from. And it's a US bank you want to borrow the money from. So we are looking for 8 or 9% interest. Maybe 10. And then to the amount of money. So we are looking for the interest rate alone. Alright, so you got, you got, you might get a 30 years loan. Right? And you are going to put up your, 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 your house as collateral. As assets, right? So you have to take that loan here. You see? One million dollar. Put up your, your properties against the, 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 the mortgage where you take. The loan where you take, excuse me. And you have to open a church. How many churches you know were just open and people just flood in and start giving money and start pay tithe and offering and sow seeds and all them things. You really think so it's a good business move at this point in your life and your career to go take a loan to build a church, a mega church? You know, see some church from the other day. You know, see some church from the other day where somebody will call me again. You know, see some church from the other day, the pastor, they might get mad by the congregation and tell them, so they're not getting no money. You know, see that? Jalani, I'm going to call you back in 10 minutes, yeah? You know, see some church from the other day where the pastor, they might get mad by the members, them. Hmm? Where is your loyalist, your die-hearted people, them where you and them are congregate for the past five, six years? Where, 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 where are those people? You don't have them people there for lift up and put in a building. You don't have them people there where fellowship with you over a period of time. And you and them sit and we say we are going to go to a bigger church. And you know them are going to come over with you. 
You have an online audience. They have a social media audience where people live in England, people live in Baghdad, people live in Egypt, people live in China, people live in Japan, people live in Jamaica, people live in Colombia, people live in Panama, people all about the place. Those people who come come watch you on a Sunday, it's not like you can lift them off the social media and put them in your church. You see? Because they spread out all over the globe. So you know, believe so you have to go build. You have to take a million dollar sister. The make sure you say you not think, you know. You sure you not think. You know, just act impulsive. And nobody can talk to you if you set your mind to something. But we just a reason with it, reason about it because enough people stay so. You see? You have to take a loan from a bank. Right? You would believe, sir. You can uphold your part of the deal without fault upon the, 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 the payment. You really believe, sir, eight percent of a million US dollars every month is gonna come from those congregations. So you can maintain the payments. You really think say eight percent or ten percent or nine percent? What the interest rate in America now? About nine percent. Means that show me I try to put it. If this, if, if let's say God created a miracle and it work. You think say the members, the members, them go. You have members. You have T.D. Jakes type of audience and Joel Alstein them type of audience that give you 8 or 9% of a million dollars monthly. Knowing that you're only paying the interest. So in 30 years, how much money you are going to pay back for a million dollars? In 30 years, because you are going to get a 30 years loan. How much money you are going to pay back for the million US dollars in a 30 years? Hmm? Remember, see, you can tell me, say, $15, $5, and $10 the people them give for preach by Facebook, you know. You think them look at $5 and $10 there. You tell we say, Enough time you don't. You tell we say the reason why you come back over here, so the reason why you come back to dance hall, see, is because things get rough over at church. Remember, you come tell me that, you know. Remember, say God, true God, love you and Jesus love you, you know. When things get rough over the gospel world, you know, and over here you come back and tell we say, God. So you have to come back over here because I pay five dollar and fifteen dollar. Yes, enough Sunday you preach and when you check it, cash up them a fifteen dollar. Can you imagine having a one million dollars mortgage and on go fifteen dollar coin a half plate? Can you imagine having such a big um, um, no mortgage loan? Can no mortgage you take a loan you take? Can you imagine getting a loan? Right? For a million dollars and then when you're looking at the offering plate, a hundred dollars, you see? And it's only four times per week you yeah, keep church. Unless you keep some little um, Tuesday night and some little Wednesday night. Where well, everybody go on church, go to church on Sunday. Sunday church, you keep. You are depending. You, you, you are, you are whoops, you build this me, mega church. Plus, you want to feed people once per week. Me things are overly ambitious. I mean, things are you know, I think. 
Mia man. Men no wish God ya talk to sister. But you and God the need for you have a really, really serious reasoning. And I think you need to listen. You see, if you all is attack, God will make you alone do you talking, you know. No man, sister, you need to start listen to God, sister. You come like a talk, you talk to God, you not listen. In my view. <laughs> you not listen. And you me know some you have to take it wrong and things that I say them things that I bash you. You know what I mean I bash you? I don't bash you because I try to encourage you. Because I say you love your preaching. But you need to listen. You need to listen to God. Stop talk. I be a talk and talk to God from we are here. Every time we are here, I be a talk and talk to God. You need to chill out and listen to God, man. Just shut down everything and just say, you know what? God speak, me go listen. Because more time God him not got Well you say you hear God's voice and it's soft. Well if you hear God's voice and it's soft, you have to tone it down, low down your voice so you can hear him properly. Cause you know make no sense. You know make no sense. And the reason why the people are bash you and you get angry and you're glad when we talk about you. So maybe you feel like say I don't know. But we just a talk about you because you put it out there and we just a show you say it don't make no sense. You understand what I mean? Say? It don't make no sense, sister. One million dollar loan. What? Are you crazy? Sister. Me want to place a bill. See? Me want to place a bill. And it's about... We need about three million US dollars for bill it. Right? Roughly that. You know what I mean? I never take a million dollar mortgage. Million dollar loan, excuse me. Me that never take a million dollar loan. US dollar loan. And if me I go take a loan, me have to get a low interest rate. Yeah. I'm in a better situation than you. Because I build me a bill for sell back. You I take a loan for keep the building. And I like you take the loan for Invest and turn the money. You are taking the loan to have this glamorous building. This mega church. You think the bank cares? Say nobody never did give you enough offering for the month? They are going to take away your house if I that you put up as collaterals. They are going to take away all your assets. Them. You, you, think, you think you can come buy about $15? Don't listen to me and try that. You talk about say, you, you take down the go for me and talk about you are going to do it on your own. Go on. Go on. Go on. Because all you want to do, you know, you just want to prove people wrong. You just want to prove that we don't have no sense and you have all of the sense in the world. Go on. Because when me tell us, sister, you cannot depend. Somebody said, go for me still. Up. When me see one statement come out, so she take it up. Right? You cannot put up your assets to take a million dollar loan. You cannot do that. In my view, you bet you try to get a million dollar for borrow from, from, from Bogdanovich them. I said any them. Down sound. Scatter them. And tell them, say, you will do some stage show and pay them back in a 10 years. Over a 10 years period, and you will give them 
you will give them interest on it, one three percent interest. Maybe they will work with you because you look like the man they have a money when you want to spend. Go sit down with Joe. And then go sit down with Joe. Because you can call Joe and tell Joe say you never get no offer in the month yeah. But you will sing too, you will go do two show. And you know what I mean? Better try that. But you try to get the million dollars from Joe. Yeah? Because the bank will take away your asset sister. If that you put up as collateral, the bank will take it away. They are going to be homeless. You see? They are going to be homeless. The bank is going to take away your assets. Them. Everything you are going to lose, in my view, in my opinion. They are going to take away your assets. Them. If you try it. Try it. Because now, and back in the days, this, when people are run go to church and I give them 10%. Everybody are wise up now. Everybody are get smart. Everybody are wall and pan where they can wall and pan. Nobody not take them children's look of future and give it to pastors anymore. That's why the pastors them are turned to a lot of fake miracles and them something there to get money from the people them. Look all over Africa and be a fake miracle raising dead, healing sick, People are eat grass, all of them things there. People are grow people foot. The man run a Prembo called him Andrew Scott. He might make people leg grow. He go around them at a boy, he heal people and all kind of things. See him? And you are not cut out for that. Because one thing we know about you. You are no thief. And that we know so far, we know have nobody come and see a thief then. We know you're a genuinely good person. But you're you going to get yourself no problem. You have to be a thief. You see? You have to be a thief. If you make it in other business there. The way how you are got it. Because if you pay the mortgage, you're going to have to turn a thief. You have to go make some little old woman stop taking them medicine, stop going to the doctor, and believe so you heal them. You have to go get some actors to come in a wheelchair, and you keep convention or crusade and make them get up and walk. So little old people, like a Benny, 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 I mean Benny, 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 and them people, they do. You see? You have to turn a scammer. If you're not on a scammer, you have to be a scammer in the business where you try to go into to pay the mortgage there. And to eat and to have money to buy the red bottom shoes and money something there. And the nice, because you love pretty things seeing with you. Love, you, love, you, love, you love your hot clothes them seeing with you. You want to go broke and bankrupt and mash up for you? Try it. I see what happened to you. She loves her Gucci. You love your Gucci and your something them? Try it. Try it. Don't listen to my foolish advice. And try it, sister. I see what happened to you, boy. Do not take a million dollar loan, Minister Marian all. You're crazy. Where you go get the money from for pay back 9% interest? Where you get the money from? If you get a million, if you can get a million dollar from the bank, minister, make 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 uh, a make tax sense, make a tax sense, right? Make a tax sense. If you can get a million dollar from the bank, you have one place where the judge tell you to sell and pay the and pay the woman with the dog bite. Get a million dollar. You see? Pay the woman with, say, the dog bite her. Whether you're wrong or you're right. Just give the woman the money. We say dog bite her. You see? So that means you don't have no lien for your property. Right? 
Because if the, if the court tell you you have to sell the place, that means it, you know? So pay the woman a million dollars and get that half of your property where you have. Take your money and build some form of infrastructure upon it, like some apartments, some low budget apartments, and sell them back. And bet you try that. Then, whatever returns you get from that, you can start with one little small church, buy one little piece of land, you know, take time, build it up, and you can go up, you can put on the next floor, you can expand it, and all them something there. Try that. So that means, uh, yet, because you are going with you know, You have 52 based on Wikipedia. Or 53. Around here. I calculate, I calculate how much time you have. Where you can be a preacher when you are, when you are 60. With the mega church, you don't have to run it down now. Start small. And go and grow your audience. Just start small and go and grow your audience, sister. The little people, them, the little people, them come and the little people, them come. You see? Yeah. If you're going to get a million dollar sister, at least invest the one million dollar. And then you, 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 you make some money and you build a little small church. And you start there. One nice little small church. You see? Just make it cute. A cute little church. Paint it pink. Paint in a church pink. Yeah. Yeah. I call it Barbie Church. Be it, what are them girls that go come? I call it Barbie Church. I will like a girl that come. I, I want my Barbie room. They say, well, I'm welcome. You know, I create a Barbie room here for you. Know? Mm. And you just preach to them and catch them. Yeah. You have a better chance. Mm hmm. And when they come, you tell them, say, you used to use dildo and nobody used. Not dildo, when you vibrator, sorry, not dildo. Vibrator. Then love you, then you sit there and you just create a little pink, pink church and trick them. And when they come, you just lick them with Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just tell them, say, you know, <laughs> you, used to have, you used to have a vibrator, but, you know, don't, don't take it up because it's, it's a sin. And I used to love it so much. The whole of them little girls have come because the whole of them are addicted to vibrator. Yeah, have some fun with them. Play games with them and laugh with them and make them have fun. I mean, while you teach them and you advise them and you make them save them little money. Yeah. One of them little girls that come, enough of them, Jada Kingdom, them, Ashley, them, what's your name? Stark Ashley, them, one of them little hot girl. Yeah. yeah, and some of them boys here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of them boys will love you, pink, I go come to. Because you're going to say, all welcome, come. Yeah. And this is how you start be a mother to them or a mentor to them. You just do something different. Just create one pink church. You see? And mentor them when they come. You see? Just one nice pink church. And see how that grow. And when it, so it grow, it grow. You keep a pink room and you expand, you expand, you expand. You get to a, your nice ministry. Yeah. And you can wear your red bottom shoes them too. Because a hot, a hot girl church you build. Hot girl church. Everybody down there. Everybody down the Sunday daytime. And you just laugh and have fun and smile and you know make them have fun with you. Mm. The abused, the the harlots, the prostitutes, everybody I go come. Everybody I go come at your pink church. Nice pink church. One liquor, nice pink church. We have the million dollars to do. You mad? You have to mash up, sister. 
You see? You mash up yourself. You no, you no need to take that million dollar there. And even if you say you don't want anybody to help you, and you go do it by your own, a million, not even a hundred thousand if you take. <laughs> not even a hundred. Sister, one time I want to build my, I said I want to build my credit offering. Right? So I said, yo, I go get a house. You see? This is 2008. Ah, before that, 2006. I said, I want a house offering. Come on, build my credit offering. Right? So I link up somebody and say, You can't get me a mortgage. And then give me a foreign national mortgage. You see? The house was for 299000 and I took the mortgage for 230000 Remember, I said I could buy the house cash, you know. But through me, I said I want to build up my credit in America. Because they say I credit run America. Right? I could just buy the house cash, you know. And I left it, you know. I rent it out or something, you know. Me, you got to take a mortgage for the house. 8.5%. One of the bad mortgages I'm getting them. 8.5%. Me pay that mortgage until last year. If you check up the amount of interest when I pay upon that 230000 when I could have just buy the house cash and not take the mortgage and find other ways of building my credit, like, you know, you some, get some cell phones, some some look some look something. <laughs> me never have buy no, go take no house. Is it? But somebody advised me say, me could I do that? I'm a peer, and then the, the wickedest thing, I want the bad mortgage, and when me can do nothing to the mortgage, couldn't do nothing to it. You know me feel? Good thing the market turn. Last year, through the inflation, and the housing price them went up, and I sell the house for five hundred and five hundred and thirty-five thousand. I sell the house for. See, P R P two hundred and thirty thousand. See, and take the rest of the money and go buy one next house and rent it out. And so, I get a little break through the, the sickness where I go on, the pandemic and the sickness, the housing price went up. And I just sell, yeah. And I just buy one, one place down at Fort Pierce where I expect say, the housing price down in another region that will go up in a few years. See? Plus, my daughter live, the wickedest thing, I buy a house and I don't even know, say, that's so close, I buy it. You know, before me start link up back with my daughter. I'm gonna find out, say, right round the house, right round, right next door, me go buy a house, say that my daughter, I don't know. So if anything for him to me, me just give instructions, say, just let her just move in. Just make her just take it off your house. If anything should happen to me. Yeah, cause up there, her mother go with her, go down with her. Yeah. You understand me, I say? And that's 230,000. You're talking about a million dollars? You're talking about a million dollars, sister? The man gave 30 years. Yeah? And you're going to pay interest alone for the money there? As a matter of fact, you're not, you're not survive two years. I can't tell you that. You are not survive two years. As a matter of fact, let me go better than that. If you are depending on the church to pay the mortgage, to pay the loan, excuse me, I keep saying mortgage. If you are depending on the church to pay about that loan, you are not survive six months. And you are going late payment if I'm if I US have nothing anyway borrow the money. Late payment comes with Penalties. 
you can't aka you can't do business out of emotion you have to sit at the table with people who have sense and plan out the thing properly you want to preach you want to be a minister start with a little church you see start with a little something remember me tell you that every minister would love a mega church every minister enough minister boy long boy before you you know much minister the boy before you and God not give them a mega church why you think say you are going to come jump the line and God give you a mega church you know much minister the boy and get a mega church Peter Chambers them are one bag of people they bought before you know And God no give them no mega church. So God I go God I go make you jump the line. Figure you a mega church. God I go pay the bills. Sister, tap your foolishness, yeah, man. And tap try to prove people wrong. Logic's not come that way, the bridging. You have to use critical thinking. All you need right now is one little piece of land. Buy one little piece of land and put one tent on it. And go and build your audience. If you're really, really serious about making a church. You see? A whole heap of pastor in Jamaica. When I me, me ask no question, I know them are real good people. And them not get no mega church from God. And when you look at Jamaica, a church, they pay, a, a church they pay every corner. And enough of them, nobody knows of them on Sunday daytime. If you think I lie, me I tell Drive round Kingston on Sundays and people in enough of them church yeah. Nobody in any of them. Some of the churches them you see are some 10 people and 15 people and 20 people in them. <laughs> Remember I said I didn't go to church you know. Me go to church and when the pastor don't collect the offering when the, when the, the usher them collect the offering me said to the pastor say it's a two hundred dollar. As the Lord of heaven. And I'm going to send around back the plate. Forget the two hundred dollar because I'm going to pay for the, for, the, for the place with them there. Yeah? And a big, you know, mega church. Yeah, man. The man has to send around back the offering plate. Forget the next two hundred dollar to pay the mortgage. You see? So you are uh, getting a problem with bank. Go and go take a million dollar sister and see what happened to you. Go on. If, if I were you, I'd take down that damn GoFundMe two million dollar idea. Reconstruct your thoughts and your ambition and come to the table small. Come tell the people them say, you know, just starting small. They might be more interested in helping you. You see? They might be more interested. You see? So, in my view, stop the things few people and talk and when the people and talk you get upset. Ah, my advice to you. Excuse me. And in my view, you don't need to start with a mega church sister and put yourself in a debt. We you put yourself in a debt for? Jesus has done debt for you. We you put yourself in a more debt. Hmm? We are going to do when the people are not throwing an offering. You have to cost them and kick them out. We are going to do when the people are not you have to tithe. You have to cost them and kick them out. You alone are going to preach us on the daytime. And you have to go turn that church there into a business place and sell flour and chicken back out of it to pay the mortgage. Because you now you can't maintain it. Remember that? Worse, you go dress up in a name brand clothes and come by and preach and people sit down in that church are dead for hungry in our old clothes. I see a walk past in a red bottom. The man start chat you. The man start chat you. 
So you know, have to listen to me, you know. But one thing you know, say, I'm going to tell you the reality. You see, I can't reach you face to face, but so you put it out in a public domain, I just reason you back from a, from a public platform. You understand? <laughs> yeah. But once you go build mega church and you start drive up in a pretty car, because you go get pretty car for much pretty church, mega church, mega car, luxury life, they might chat you. Mm-hmm. You see? I say, yeah, we're Gucci back come to church. You see? But you keep on pink church, get one little building and paint the pink. And call it pink for Jesus. Yeah. I invite the whole little, little, little woman to me, where you sit. Just build friendship with them. You see? And Nicki Manaj will come in. You know? But you can't say, you can't say, <laughs> Brit no fit take no money from the devil. Because you can't do that. You have to, to turn them off. But you always have to shoot yourself in your foot still. You can't say that. You want Nicki Manaj come my pink church. Barbie for Christian. Barbie for Jesus. And she have the money. You want to pay a mortgage. You can't say Brit no fit that money from the devil. You can't say that, man. Yo. You can't make people and beat you and not give the money. You can't say that. You need Nicki Manaj to come. She will come. Let me tell you something. You know you don't understand something? Nicki Manaj, you know. See, outside of me and our little Edzai business dealings where, 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 where handlers them want to shut me out of the money and I burn, burn her out. Because she knows that they try to shut me out of the money for Megatron. And she don't do nothing about it. <laughs> See? So I burn her out. But outside of that, you know, Nicki Manaj come like she want good at you know. Yeah, brother foot her ex-wife. Before she start big up she be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The voices, you know, you're trying to big up shibby them. Yeah. You know, you need her for your team. And she going to help you the mortgage. She wants a church. That woman is searching for something. Right now, Nicki Manaj want to be a friend. You can't say them things, the mama. I know the spirit of the Lord more time come upon you and you can't hold it still, but you have to hold it, man. <laughs> you have to learn to hold it, man. You need Nicky Manas to come to the pink church. She has to give 10,000 offerings and 5,000. Where you go to? Take out back the devil, the devil money out of the offering plate? Then me ask you a question, Mama. If you are going to tell Brits to forgive about it, if you not take the money from the devil, I can kind of sin. When the people when you come here in mega church, we are dealing with all kinds of sins. Put offering on the plate. God I go to them to take it out back and give them. Come on, Mama. <laughs> when the people when come here in your church, your mega church, some people were shaky. Some people were lean, some people were thief, some people were commit adultery, some people were commit fornication. You want to tell me that the angel is going to come to your church? Then we are about what my church for. Mama, if you are going to say, Zin, a little girl not to take the money from the devil. If I saw you say, God, God, that, that messy. If I that you say, right? Even that you say, about devil money, is be righteous people that go come to your church? They don't need to open a church. Because a, a sinner, you need to come to church to preach the gospel to them. So them sinner, they, them devil, they not go give, not go give offering. I be a devil that go come to church, you know? 
I be a people with all kind of demon in them, I go come for get deliverance, you know. So you go give them money. You see? Impulsive and emotional is the measure. You have to sit down and think, man. You have to calculate the thing, sister. You have to have some people around you where you listen. Your problem is, your problem is, you are not listening to God. You are talking, but you're not listening. You see? Enough of we stay so you know. You are not alone. Enough of we, we talking too much. We need to listen more time to God. Whatever your God is, whatever you believe in, I could have the breeze. More time you have to sit down and listen to the breeze. If I the bird them your God, you have to sit down more time and listen to the bird them. Maybe they might give you a message. You know? If we should sit down and listen to the wind, maybe the wind that tells us something, you know. Just stop talk so loud. Stop be so argumentative and listen to God. Because if you listen to God, trust me. You will humble yourself. And calm down your nerves. <laughs> and that tab on mega church. Every church was successful boy. Then started small. Some people start church in an embarrassment. Some people start church around the dinner table. You see? If your ambition and you only aspire to build a mega church so you can show people say so you did it, you're not going to work. You're going to go into bankruptcy. And you're going to lose everything where you ever work for. You think you lose everything. You come there and say, yo, you lose one bag of things when you turn Christian and one bag of things when you start serving God. You think you lose it? Go and go take mortgage and see. To build church. And see what will happen to you. You see? You have to just listen to God, man. Start listening to God. You see? And not for one. One of us always attack. And attack to God. And attack to God. And I tell God. And I this and I that God. More than you have to just listen to God. You see? You see? Just listen to God, Bridget. And maybe to work out. Alright? Big up on yourself, people. Make a rest of all vice. Yeah? You see? And rub up with someone that's sick again. Alright? 